Hi YouTube, it's Bucko here again from VideoGamePerfection.com and PlayOldPCGames.com Now, the other day I was trying to explain a concept using the Xpadder tool, the excellent Xpadder tool, and what I was trying to explain was a concept called Distance Zones. So, I'll give you a demonstration as that's usually the best way. We've got the classic adventure game Grim Fandango running here and as you can see on the keyboard you can use these keys here, the arrow keys basically, to move Manny around the environment. Now if you hold down shift and move him, he runs. He won't run backwards but you get the idea. So on the XPadder window here, if we just configured the controls like this, so I'm just putting up, down, left and right and mapping those to the left analog stick, that means that whenever I press up, down, left or right on my analog stick, the computer thinks I'm pressing on the keyboard and will move the character accordingly. Okay, that's basic X padder, you all know how to do that. So to add a distance zone, let's go on the up arrow here, and this time we're going to go on advanced. So now we're in the advanced assignment window, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a distance zone that basically tells X padder to do something different when the analog stick is pushed all the way down, or almost all the way down. So I'll show you what I mean. First of all I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click Add Distance Zone and I'm going to go back to the Distance Zone and I'm going to make the distance 85 say. Um, so the stick needs to be pushed nearly all the way. And here I'm now going to press the Shift key and then the up key. So what I basically said is normally you when you press the analog stick upwards send the up arrow key. However if you press the analog stick 85% or more of the way upwards send the shift and the up key. Okay that should hopefully make sense so I'll show you what happens now. So back on the Grim Fandango win window, now if I push the stick forward gently, he'll still walk. Now if I ram the stick all the way down, he'll run. I'll just show you that again. Little gentle push, he walks. Push it all the way down, he runs. So you've then effectively brought some analog control back to this game. and that's really it, that's all there is to using distance zones in XPadder. You'd probably want to set up the same configuration for the other directions as well. And then configure the other buttons however you want them for the game. And yep, that concludes this little video. I hope that explains the concept neatly and I'll see you all again in another video.